Another touch of fool's gold, a lost rush season I almost found a way to break through Believe me that the sideshow is finally over Nothing left to try and tame you Dragging on a dirt road, spinning with my best friends Grinning, say I'm doing the best As you can tell from my past video, I was on a trip in Hokkaido for for a few weeks. Before I went on a trip, I just keep hearing everyone was hyping up the thrifting experience in Japan. And I was like, how could I miss that, right? I got so excited that I pinned every secondhand shops on Google Maps even before planning the rest of my trip. So guess what? In today's video, I'm going to take y'all with me in my thrift hunting mission in Sapporo. So what are you waiting for then? Come on, let's go thrifting! The second I arrived in Sapporo, I ran to the second street in the shopping area. It has three to four floors and even though it's not as big as other branches I've been to, there are tons of items there from local Japanese brands to non-branded just look at these two rolls. After rolls, it's giving ASMR for my eyes already. I nearly screamed when I spot this Nike Airy. I've been wanting her for so long, but they were just too small for me, so I got to pass. I am so obsessed with these sandals. It's giving cost, but it's actually cush. Definitely perfect for a quiet luxury look, and it's priced only around um, 11 US dollar. She almost got me, but I have already have a similar pair. I mean, I just cannot keep buying the same stuff over and over, okay? Now this off-white crush is so good, like the blue color there is so rich and on point. She only costs um, 80 US dollar, which I believe you can hardly find elsewhere. But I'm pretty sure she won't hold off my stuff, so giving her a pass, but I'm still low-key salty about her. Another Nike Aqua lift, but this time it was in black. Again, tried her on, she was so tight and it just doesn't feel right. I guess it's just not my day for a night. Team someone left their collection of Gomme de Gazon clothes here. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. But sadly, I'm just on a tight budget, so I would just appreciate them and just keep them in my memories. Anyone who is a fan of this cloth and have that budget, just please come and grab it from me, okay? Next, I went to a store close to 2nd Street that was totally giving an American vintage vibe. Made a quick stop at this local vintage shop. They have quite a collection of football jerseys. I would normally go for it, but as for today's again, my brief to myself is to find the Japanese brands. So I need to stick to my original goal and make sure I am not going bankrupt before I accomplish my mission here, okay? <laughs> it was like three hours of cloth hunting activity and I was so drained. So I decided to hit up Dongyi for some snack shopping, why not?
But you know, I wasn't just there for snacks, to be honest. I have my hidden agenda to visit this Vivian Westwood soon. I heard that Donkey in Japan they sells brand new stuff including all models of Vivian Westwood accessories. Their prices are way cheaper than those in the brand store. As a big fan of Vivian, I just cannot miss this, of course. Well, price-wise, it depends on what you are buying. To be precise, I went for the earrings with a pink crystal. She cost me around 123 US dollar, which isn't super cheap, but not too bad either. <laughs> It was the next day and today I traveled to another second street branch which is a bit away from the shopping street. From what I googled, this branch is massive. So finger crossed, I was expecting to find something cool out there. I don't know why but there's just something about black stuff that always caught my eyes. And this diggy skirt, she's totally giving a western cowgirl's wife. I could imagine styling her in so many different ways. She's in black, so that's the main reason why I decided to let her go. And now I am kind of regret actually. Okay, can we just take a moment to appreciate this perfect red shirt cardigan? Should be amazing for a pop of red situation, like the color is so spot on. Also, the material is incredibly soft and comfy. She was not on my original hunting list, but I am just gonna pop her into my basket and see if she fits. Love the texture and volume of this dress with this early and muted color combo. She totally fits my mermaid fantasy. Now she's not my usual go-to style but let's see if I can just pull her off in the fitting room. And here is my current basket situation. Now let's get into the fitting time. I start off with this mermaid dress and as you can see, she fits awkwardly on my body. Not flattering at all, especially around the boobs area like what's going on here? Hello! Next, we have this tease which is a meh for me too. The color, the font, everything is just so plain, so it's a pass. I tried on this Burberry blazer. I really like the design. I just wish she was a bit bigger and more oversized on me. But the most important thing is I need to stop buying black, so yeah, a pass. The last piece I have here is this red cardigan. She fit me like a glove and everything just felt so right. You know that feeling when you put on the right piece? I didn't trip her because at that time I just wasn't sure if I really liked her or it was just a rush to buy something to make the trip worth it. So I ended up ditching her and I am still salty about it till this day. The last three hours there was completely a flop because I didn't get anything but let's be positive here since I still got some time. I decided to head back to the second street branch I went yesterday. I don't know why but I am having a good feeling about it. It seems the claws in that branch are more like vibing with me. One eternity later. Okay, here we are once again at the second street and I found this signature pillow bag from Maison Magella. She cost like 
400 US dollar which is quite a great deal but I personally think this bag is overexposed also I am eyeing on another bag model so I'm just gonna leave her for someone else this tea is quite interesting. I love how they use organza and cotton to create that contrast between solid and sheer panels. She is giving a feminine but also baggy. Try to learn, but then she feels a little bit off. I don't know, something is feeling so weird. Um, a little bit like awkward everything seems to be in a wrong place and position but in the same time i just knew it was a design choice of the designers maybe she's just not for me i guess so i'm just gonna let her go this diesel carrigan she's beautiful but again no black lena please don't buy any black I don't know about you, but the signature Vivian shirt has always been sitting at the top of my wish list. I know at this moment she might look questionable, like what was going on here? Like is this a farmer outfit or something? But trust me, I have a vision for her. Okay, you guys, this skirt is so so sick. The texture, the design, the color, she is my love at first sight. She looks like straight from the runway. Literally have no words. Also, I just found out she was from a Japanese designer brand. I don't know exact retail price, but the brand price range is around 185 to um, 200. 50 something US dollars so I guess I got her for more than half the retail price on the last piece and we have this orange midi skirt which I am also obsessed at first I immediately knew she has to be from some of the designer brand and I was right I love the contrast between the organza and corn panels the silhouette of this skirt is so unique the only thing though is I just wish she was slightly bigger but that's fine I can live with it and so yes I thrifted her okay so for this trip I managed to get four items these two skirts one Vivian shirt and one earring if you ask me what is the experience here I would say it's not that cheap Especially for no brand items, I think those in Bangkok are cheaper. But since I am targeting local Japanese brands, then it makes sense if the price is slightly high. And that would be a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please don't forget to subscribe if you are vibing with my channel. See you on the next one. Bye!